welcome back to the channel. In the past, I've created a video on how to install and configure Hacks, which is the Home Assistant Community Store. Link in the description and in the pop-up above. So that's great. Now what can I do with Hacks? This video will tell you my personal top five Hacks integrations. So let's dive in. So a brief look at what Hacks is, where it came from, what it contains, and how you can use it to improve your Home Assistant. Hacks stands for Home Assistant Community Store. Links in the description for the official site. It contains integrations, graphical front-end plugins, app daemons, Python scripts, and themes that do not come as part of the official release of Home Assistant. For the purposes of this video, we'll focus on the integrations only. The simplest way to think of it would be that the Home Assistant integrations are similar to the Google Play Store or the Apple Play Store. These are tested with Home Assistant applications and are known to work. Hacks are integrations that are built and supported by the Home Assistant community, and as such, do not come with the same level of testing or support. Now that's not to say that they are not tested or that they in any way do not work. In fact, the ones I will be talking about work as well as the official integrations, but they might cease to be supported in the future. So that's just something to consider. Hacks was first introduced in January 2021 and brought a new level of integration, allowing for a much greater level of integration and UI enhancements above and beyond what was available through the core application. This was a welcome introduction and one that helped Home Assistant accelerate its adoption as the premium platform for Home Assistant automators. So let's look at my top five hacks integrations that I use. So let's start with the Watchman. Shout out to Dummy Labs for creating this hacks integration. The Watchman is a custom integration for Home Assistant. It collects all of the Home Assistant entities, sensors, timers, input selects, etc., mentioned in your YAML files, as well as all the services. Having a list of all of the entities, the integration checks their actual states one by one and reports on these if they are available or missing. For services, it checks whether the service is available in Home Assistant Services Registry. This information is then made available to you to review in a handy Watchman report. A typical scenario they'll use the Watchman for is periodically running it once a month to verify that any changes that you have made within Home Assistant have not left any orphaned entities, which are entities that are effectively not working. I can look through these entities and correct any errors or at least to understand why these issues have occurred and take the appropriate action, which in some cases might be to ignore the issue or maybe to refine the watchman run criteria to exclude them. It's not a silver bullet in that it does not correct the issues, but it does highlight the issues for your further attention. To install the watchman, you'll obviously need hacks installed. See the video in the link above. I won't have time to go into how to install the Watchman or great details on the parameters, but if you'd like me to do so, then please leave a comment in the description below. To be able to run the Watchman, you'll need to go into the Developer Tools, located on the left-hand navigation menu. Then go across into Services on the top menu. Then search for Watchman. You have several options available to you, such as sending the report by email or notification when the report has been run. I won't go into these at this time, but you can read about these options in the link in the description below. To be able to run the Watchman, I'd recommend leaving these options alone, at least until you're familiar with them. Then to run the Watchman report, press the call service. This will generate the report and place it in the root of your Home Assistant file system. To view the report, you'll need a file editor loaded. I've covered the installation of Studio Code Server in a previous video, available in the pop-up above or in the description below. So let's take a look at the output of the report. Navigate to Studio Code Server, then to the Watchman report. You should now be able to see the issues of the services and entities. I won't go into the specifics of how to resolve these in this video, as this video will be long enough as it is. But you can see that the names of the services or entities that are causing the issues and the location of where these issues arise, so that you can investigate further. 
If you'd like a video specifically on Watchmen, then let me know. Next, we have the Alarmo Alarm. Shout out to Niles Faber for creating this Hacks custom integration. I have a whole video around the installation, configuration, and user cases linked in the pop-up above or in the description below. Alamo is a fabulous integration that allows you to quickly and easily install and configure a home assistant based alarm system. Although home built alarm systems might have greater flexibility and functionality with respect to their user specific cases, they will quickly become complex and turn into a full time job configuring and maintaining them. Alamo offloads the heavy lifting of this task and allows you to set up and run an alarm from Home Assistant in minutes. More importantly, you will tick the box for partner approval as you will bypass the mistakes of flashing lights throughout the house or sirens going off with false positives. Trust me from somebody who has done it and suffered the sleepless nights and glares from my partner. Now, Alamo might provide you with the mechanism to monitor your sensors and take actions based on the sensors, but it is retrospective actions. Even better is when you use in conjunction with a proactive security system. And that's where our next hacks integration comes into effect. Present simulation by Slashback 100 is an amazing hacks integration that takes your history of your lights and even your medium notifications and applies a delta to these based on your parameters. I've created a specific video on how to configure present simulation that will be available in the pop up above and the description below. Present simulation provides you with a varying lighting pattern based on your standard routines that simulates you at home when you're not even there. The beauty about this is that it's not exactly the same for every night. For example, if you were coding this, you might turn on the living room lights at 7 p.m. every night. That exact time could be seen as an automated and prescriptive. Present simulation would vary this based on what delta you entered in to create the appearance that you are turning the lights on and off, but not at a prescriptive time. Used in conjunction with the Alamo alarm, this provides a very powerful proactive and reactive alarm system that not many high-end alarms can match that functionality. My next hacks integration is more specific to my specific user cases and is one of the first hacks integrations I installed. I have Arlo security cameras on the outside of my house. These used to be supported within Home Assistant as part of the official integration but this was deprecated in 2022. This is a great example of where the Home Assistant community stepped in and created their own Arlo integration called AARLO. Shout out to T-Reg for creating this integration. This allowed the integration of Arlo cameras to continue. I have a video of the installation and configuration of AARLO that you can watch and follow through in the pop-up above or in the descriptions below. In addition to providing the integration between Arlo cameras, it also gets a UI glance card that allows various functions to be executed from the card, such as taking snapshots, viewing the battery levels, or even a nine shot history of the videos taken. And to finish off, there is the Alexa Media Player integration. Shout out to Alan DTSE, and Keaton Taylor for creating this fabulous hacks integration. This is a custom component hacks integration to allow control of Amazon Alexa devices in Home Assistant using the unofficial Alexa API. This integration allows you to control Alexa devices as a media player through Home Assistant. It allows you to send notifications, including text to speech, mobile pushes and announcements. It allows you to turn on or off Alexa Guard. Although this is region specific and charges may apply dependent upon which region you live in. On this integration, there is a warning that this integration mimics the Alexa app, but Amazon may cut off access at any time. Although I've been using this for many years and there is no sign that this is going to be stopping. Also, this type of API integration warning equally applies to all such integrations that integrate between Home Assistant through an official third party API. 
but which might be deactivated by the third party at any time. You'll need to monitor these integrations in the updates to make sure they continue to work. In addition to this, I would strongly suggest that you periodically go into hacks via the navigation bar on the left hand side to make sure that you are running the latest versions of the integration and if not, update. So those are my five top Hacks integrations, but it should be noted that Hacks contains literally hundreds of additional integrations. And that is not to forget that you can expand these Hacks integrations by using libraries or repositories as they are called. The most important takeaway from this video is not the specifics of the individual Hacks integrations discussed, but instead to watch my video on the Hacks installation and go and have a look through the available integrations. Basically, if you have thought of a specific user case that you would like to integrate Home Assistant with, there is a high likelihood that someone has already created it and it's just waiting for you to install and try out. So that about wraps it up for this video. If there are any specific hacks integrations that you'd like covered, then please drop them into the comments and I'll try and cover them in future videos. If you like this video, then please hit that thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. And if you'd like to see similar content, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell icon to be notified when new content becomes available. See you on the next one.